Hey, Peter, I'd like to make a request. Yes, please. Could you play Take 5 for me, please? That would be a negatory. I'm Adam Ennis. And I'm Peter Martin. And you're listening to the You'll Hear Podcast. Daily jazz advice coming at you in 2019. What? Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you, podcast listeners, for making yes. this the best year ever. We are going to so keep, far. Uh, we're gonna keep going with this podcast, I think. Yep. Uh, you know, we have some good ideas. There might be a little revamp of the pod cave in what? 2019. Yeah. yeah, we don't have it right now, but... A little might, fresher, a little might, fresher upper. Yeah, we might add a little, uh, little MIDI keyboard in here, so we nice. don't have to reset to go to the piano, and we can maybe even add, dare I say, uh, transcriptions. What? And we might even. <laughs> Did you say the T word? We might even spray a little Febreze up in here too. Who knows? Let's big go, shout out to Febreze. Let's not go crazy. The <laughs> musk is building on itself. That's right. Big, to, big yeah. shout out to Old Spice Musk. All right. What do we got today? <laughs> so today we're talking about four tunes to absolutely never ask a serious jazz musician to play. All right. Now, this is one of our longer titles too. Yeah. And a shorter episode. <laughs> <laughs> no. So a serious jazz musician sounds a little, yeah. But yeah. These, are, these are things that if you want to annoy a jazz musician, your local jazz musician, you should request this tune on a gig. So we really could have a, two different, we could have an alternate facts title, four tunes to annoy a serious jazz musician, yeah. which would be the, exactly the same as this, right? Yeah, exactly right. Okay. Well, what do we have for number one? Number one is a classic, and this isn't <laughs> just for jazz musicians, this is for all musicians. We hear it like once a week, and it's Freebird. Freebird. Someone shouts Freebird from the back one more time. <laughs> I'm going back to 2018. Well, there's, I mean, there's the whole tune and the wanting to hear it, but then I think at this point it's just the shouting of Freebird. Like, there's a whole generation that's shouting it that doesn't even know what it is, right? Yeah, it's, it's really It's like odd. more cowbell. But, more. like, <laughs> the guy who shouts Freebird thinks he's funny still. <laughs> exactly. After all this time. Yeah. That's crazy. Anyway, yeah. what's number Come two? Come on, it's 2019, yeah, right? Get, get the, the 80s called. They want their tune back. Yeah, shout like Beat It. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> or, or Thriller. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Beat It might be taken for Hey, Beat It, buddy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Beat It. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so number two, we've got In the Mood. In the Mood, the, yeah. the Glenn Miller classic. We, is it a classic, though? I guess it is. It is. Classique. It's, it's, it's a, a, definitely a classic. I yeah. used to get uh, this requested a lot more than I do lately. But back in the day, playing like, you know, more like uh, private gigs where maybe... Yeah. Uh, well, a lot of those people that wanted to hear it are dead now. That's, that's why you're not true. getting it. I didn't want to... <laughs> no, that is true. I didn't want to put a button on it, but... So number two is In the Mood. And that, that, that might be actually expiring because a lot of the people who requested are, are it are expiring. expiring. Well, the thing is, I remember doing this tune. I remember getting a gig when we were in high school, um, and we called. We needed a bass player because our regular. We had a little high school band. Now we, we might have even been in middle school. So, I mean, we were young, young and dumb. It was a great match, but we called Jeff Anderson. Yeah, the sure. great Jeff Anderson, bassist. Shout out to and, Jeff An Anderson, and, uh, yeah. multi instrumentalist. Because we heard he was a good bass player. He was like an adult. I mean, not like he was in his 20s or something. Yeah, I can't yeah. believe he came to play with us. Yeah, he was yeah. super nice. Yeah. We get to the gig. It turns out the people that hired us, it was like a 50-year high school reunion. Oh. And so the people like are asking for all these tunes, and we didn't know any of the classics from the 40s. You're you only know? trying to play like, <laughs> this is for Albert and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. And Jeff was had a little more experience than us, so he's like... Um, Naming tunes, we still didn't know him, so it turned out In the Mood was the only one we kind of knew. Or he's like, follow me from the bass. Yeah. So we played In the Mood all night, and they loved it. And I think they were forgetting each time that we were repeating it, but it kind of saved us. But don't ask for it again. Yeah. Okay. And you know what? Uh, so the Baby Boomer uh, version of In the Mood is our number three, oh, okay. and that's Moon Dance. Ooh. Dan dun, Morrison's dun, dun, Moon dun. Dance gets yeah. requested. and um, The tempo, that It's vibe. not a jazz tune. It's not. A, no. It's a jazzy. It's jazzy in and the jazz worst possible sense. Not that I, I mean, I actually really like Van Morrison, some of his albums, but I do not like Moon Dance, and I think yeah. it's a generational <laughs> thing. I don't know why. Yeah. But, I mean, I think that for people that find themselves sort of sophisticated, but really not liking jazz, like that's jazz to them or jazzy. So, yeah, agreed. You know. Yeah. All right. Well, number four, and we do have an abbreviated list because we're both hungry for lunch today. And, and hungover and from last night. <laughs> that's right, because we're in 2019 now, yeah. um, is when the saints come marching in. Now, when the saints go marching in? Or come, or yeah, I don't know. I don't <laughs> you hate it so much, I, you've never even learned the proper And the time. thing is, I actually don't hate it. but just It's actually not that bad. No, no, no. And I mean, and there's a whole way to do it with New Orleans. I just don't want to play it with people that don't know the proper time to play and the proper way to play it. Yeah. Does that sound jazz? That sounds new. That's New Orleans jazz police for you right that there. That is. But well, isn't it the Preservation Hall that have like, it's like uh, requests, $10, yeah. Yeah. win the saints, $50 <laughs> exactly, or something like that? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just like what people's expectation and their willingness to 
to, to jump in with like a, a rag or an umbrella to dance along with it. That's the main reason I don't want to play it and don't ask for it because you think it's a participatory thing. And it is at the right place, maybe a preservation hall or whatever and the right group. But ugh, 50 bucks later, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's our little list today. I just thought it would be fun. Um, well, let's recap because yep. we're, we're going to cross all our T's because it's the new year here. I, I got you. Number one is Freebird. <laughs> number two is In the Mood. Number three is Moon Dance, and our number four tune to absolutely never ask a jazz musician to play is when the Saints go marching in. I love the way you said those four. It's like it's like you're announcing the set list to just the worst gig ever. All right, guys, <laughs> let's gather around. Number right, one, fellas, we're gonna start with Freebird, <laughs> then we're gonna hit him within the mood, and then we're coming Moon Dance, <laughs> and then we're gonna, to, then we're gonna take him out with yeah, the Witness. Then Saints. we're gonna invite our vocalists up for When the Saints. Yeah, it's like literally the worst set list ever. That's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, we want to welcome everybody, as we said, to 2019. We're excited to be here on season three, episode number two. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the journey with us. Big shout out to YouTube. Where you at? That's right. We 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 uh, invite you to join us. In have you been joining in the comments there? I haven't seen you there. No, I've been there, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna start trolling you in the comments. That'll get you to come. <laughs> it in. actually would probably get me to come in and defend myself a little bit. Hey guys, it's 2019. Come and troll no, no, at Adam. Let's see no. if we can get him there. Yes. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, all right. You'll hear um, it. And that's whether, it. You, you, that's whether or not you—that's whether or not you're it. watching on YouTube or not. You join us there. You can go to you'llhear.com. We want some new comments and requests there. Yeah. Uh, maybe leave us a speak pipe uh, because we always enjoy those. And you know it's 2019, Pete. Should we should we up our star game? I to think we should, but I'm wondering: Are we going to up our handling of the? You've been touching that microphone a lot today. I don't know if that's the proper usage there. But just, I'm trying let's to just get, get comfortable. I'm trying to get comfortable. But I'm you know, to you don't have to be right up on. It's all good. Oh. Yeah. Now, what did you want? Up our star game. So we've been seven stars for a while yeah. since we started this podcast. Of course, we average seven stars. Nine stars for 2019. <sighs> should it we? It is 2019. Do we skip ahead? No, one? let's stay with the seven because we're still having a problem with the Apple system. I've got a, a support ticket in with um, what's the guy's name? Tim Cook. I, I emailed him, Tim at Apple.com, and I started a support ticket. Please, we have listeners that want to give us seven stars, Mr. Cook, but your system only allows five. What should I do? Should I continue to, to manually tell them to write seven stars, but give us five stars, or are you working on the problem? Yeah, I mean, it's overwhelming probably at this point for our yeah. podcast. Yeah. yeah. So, so get on it, Apple. That's right. You'll hear it. <laughs>